Well, hello everyone. So welcome to happymath.com. So this time we will talk about the sampling distribution and the center limit theorem. Okay, so look at this defini definition please. A sampling distribution is the probability distribution of a sample statistic that is formed when sample of size n are repeatedly taken from a population. If the sample statistic is the sample mean, then the distribution is the sampling, uh, sampling distribution of the sample mean. Every sample statistic has a sampling distribution. Okay. So I know this definition is a little bit confusing, so I will let you know here. So, you know, let's say this is all population here, then we can take out some sample from maybe on this side, maybe on this side, and this side, something like that. But now you are keep looking for the mean value. Okay, so it can be every two sample or every three sample or every four sample. You know, it depends on how you select data. But anyway, so whatever you determine the uh, sample size. So I'm gonna just make um, every two data and then find the mean, or every three data and then find the mean, or every ten data and then find the mean. You know, that can be sampling distribution. Okay. So that now we have some property here. So the mean of the sample mean mu x bar is equal to the population mean mu. Okay, so we assume so. And the standard deviation of the mean, sample mean sigma x bar is equal to the population standard deviation sigma divided by the square root of the uh, square root of n. Yeah, it is because whenever you do uh, sampling uh, mean distribution, then all the data basically uh, gathering to the center area. So we will do some activity very soon and then I'm going to show you what what that means here. Okay, so now the center limit theorem is if a sample of size n where n is bigger than or equal to 30 are drawn from any population with a mean, mu, and a standard deviation sigma, then sampling distribution of a sample means approximately a normal distribution. The greater the sample size, then better the approximation. Okay? And number two, if the population itself is normally distributed, the sampling distribution of a sample mean is normally distributed for any sample size n. Okay. So, like here. So, which means, even though the sample, si uh, sample shape is not, I mean the original shape is not this uh, normal shape here, if you keep doing a uh, sampling mean distribution, Basically, it turning to the uh, normal shape here. Okay. Then now, so I'm gonna show some kind of uh, access simulation, but this time, so we may just limited uh, the population size is maybe very small. I know, so it should be total m must be bigger than or equal to 30, which means we better find out uh, any 30 data from the population, but it is a little bit vague, you know, the, I cannot picture that, so I'm gonna make it sample, I mean, population size is really small, like a 5. Then now from them, then we can find out maybe an, uh, sampling mean, sampling size n equal to maybe 2, or 3, 4, like that. Okay? So let's look at the Excel. So as you see, I just make a total population is only 5 here. Okay? So of course it is not realistic. But just make make us understand about the sampling mean distribution is better. Then I'm gonna make it very sim small uh, population size here. Okay, so I'm gonna make a frequency table, uh, and then let's see what happened. So I'm gonna find out minimum and maximum, the range and class width. Okay, so minimum means just the minimum of this data. So you can use type M I N and they highlight all this data, then it will give you minimum data. And maximum, just MAX, and highlight all this data. Okay. And now range means the maximum data minus the minimum data. So I'm gonna do max minus minimum. Okay. Then that's, that's it, and the class width. So let's say this time uh, making five classes. So I'm gonna do this one divided by five. Then now six, but we are making one bigger data. I mean, always rounding up, so I will make a seven here. Okay. Then now we can make lower limit. 
and here upper limit okay so then lower limit always from uh, minimum value and then I'm gonna just uh, combine uh, lower limit value plus class width which is 7 and now we will do 5 here so 1 2 I mean the 1 2 3 4 5 and now upper limit here so we, we want to do um, just um, this minus 1 so I'm gonna do it and then the last one I will do so this value plus class width which is 7 okay so now we find out all the data set here and then so lower limit and the upper, mini, uh, upper limit value here so based on that I'm going to construct the frequency table uh, and then histogram as well so click data and then data analysis and then click histogram and then OK the input range means all our data so I'm going to highlight everything here and then bin range means our upper limit okay then I'm going to label this one and then just put the same output so maybe around here okay and the chart output as well okay so I did that so so that's the basically our histogram okay so I'm going to name them that as a original Okay, so as you see, um, most likely every data is in one range here. And then, so this is not normal shape at all, right? Okay, then what I want to do, I'm going to do basically um, now start doing sampling distribution, which means uh, every two data and then divide by two because we're finding mean value here. So because we have only five data, so we can make the algorithm very easily. So what I want to do, I'm going to just uh, uh, open the parentheses and then this data but I'm going to fix it because I keep repeating this value so put the dollar sign here and the plus um, next value and divide by 2 like that okay then now so this is 3 23 4 5 6 okay then now okay then now the second one is I, I will I'm going to do uh, just fix second data here and then plus the third data and divide by 2 okay so then now that's the fourth data which is a uh, third data sorry third data okay so fix it and plus so next one and divide by 2 ok then I'm going to do one more the last one this equal to these two data divide by 2 like that ok so now based on that I'm going to also construct the histogram ok so look at here data analysis and histogram so this time input range become this much here and then bin range will be the same upper limit here and then I'm gonna this time uh, display uh, maybe value maybe around here okay so let's see okay so that's the n equals 2 now compare the original and the n equals 2 so okay so to the better so I'm gonna just delete more part here so so now when when you look at here already so n equals 2 then now there's no data based on 79 and then now somehow it turned into normal shape is it moving up and down here okay so I'm, I keep doing maybe n equals 3 and the 4 5 okay so anyway so so far this video is uh, until here and I keep showing and equal 3 and equal five, 4 and the 5 next video and then we will we will discuss more about um, kind of graph behavior okay all right thanks for joining this video and then please watch my second video thank you